Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Sequoia Gatlin. <sighs> and this here is my channel, Grow with the Gatlins. Y'all, I look a mess. Like, <sighs> all right, so today is the day I'm going to be doing, now I'm gonna be doing three videos in this same shirt, y'all, because let me tell you, I have been exhausted, okay, exhausted. So yes, you're gonna see me do three videos in the same shirt. Get over it, okay? I'm tired. Um, I'm tired. I've been having like issues going on down there that I am so not used to, but you know what? I'm not complaining. I am super excited for this journey and I cannot wait for you guys to continue this journey with us. Our channel is called Growing with the Gatlins for a reason. Um, I wanted you guys to be on this journey with us while we grow our family. So you guys are on this video because you want to know the symptoms that I had before I got my big fat positive. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into the video. All right, so, oops. I have everything on my phone, you guys. Um, so, everything I have, I think, now you guys, everybody, uh, everybody's, everybody's body is completely different. So, because, just because I get symptoms early, that doesn't mean anything. Uh, you'll probably get symptoms, um, early as well or if not you know whenever you decide to get symptoms now i don't know if i symptom spotted this or what but what i did was i jotted down every day that i felt something so that way if i did end up pregnant i know i wasn't losing my mind so i believe um let's see I started symptom spotting okay so one two three four so on four DPO um, it I oh I was at work okay now I remember so I was at work and I had to run to the bathroom i had this urge to run to the bath to the restroom and i threw up um and it's funny because i come out of the bathroom and one of my employees go you know oh sequoia you're pregnant i'm like no you know i'm not and it i just brushed it off you know um let's see five dpo nothing six dpo um I, would, I had nausea, but it was kind of like mild nausea. Um, I had a severe migraine. You guys, I had a migraine um, out of this world. And my breast, they were sore, but like mild sore. When my breasts were sore, uh, I knew I was pregnant. Because now I have PCOS, but I ovulate. So I just don't have a period. So I remember my sister would tell me, yeah, before her period... You know her breast will hurt and all this jazz and i'm like well yeah if my breasts ever hurt then i know i'm pregnant because i i never have any breast tenderness or anything like that so the next day that friday um did i take a test no i didn't take a test that day so i had a headache that thursday friday and saturday it went away Sunday on uh, Father's Day, and I happened to take um, a test. Um, it was one of the Amazon cheapies, and I kid you not, that test came out like a faint line. And if you know my story and you've seen my previous videos of me testing, not once did I ever get a faint line. Not once, okay? So when I seen that faint line, I freaked. I was, I mean, it's crazy because I thought I would react a different way than I reacted because, you know, I waited my entire life for this day. And then that it finally came, I'm like, oh, wow. 
wait, am I pregnant? You know, I didn't cry. I guess because I was still in denial. So I went to CVS, got three more tests, and a test that same day. Um, I'll put them here, right here. Uh, as you can see, they were both, uh, I mean, all three of them were super faint. So um, I was like, yeah. I sent it to my friend and I'm like, wait a minute, um, do you see the line or am I tripping? And she was like, no, you're definitely pregnant. Um, so I test again that Monday, um, which was, okay, yeah, so 9 DPO, I got my faint positive. 10 DPO, um, my breasts were sore, mild. I had like pelvic, uh, like mild pelvic cramps going on down there. Um, I was super bloated and TMI, but I had diarrhea and I had uh, f like frequent urination, like I had to pee a lot. Um, and I also took a test and it was positive. Um, in the next video, I will show you guys my line progression um, of my uh, test that I did. <laughs> You're gonna probably think I'm a little delusional, but you know what, it's totally fine because uh, I, was in denial until we went to our appointment got confirmation and you know i can ease back on the test um the next day uh same thing pelvic pain and i was in a happy mood <laughs> i wanted to make sure i got that um Twelve DPO, I had a severe headache, and I had insomnia, y'all. I could not sleep. I told my husband, I'm like, oh, I kept waking up throughout the night, and then by the time I had to go to work, I'm like, oh well, I'm already up. Might as well get up. Um, some more mild bloating and then diarrhea. The next day, I took a test, positive test, um, and then. Those, I think that was it. That after what 12 DPO, that was the only symptoms that I have. I still have like the pelvic pain from uh, from time to time, like it's like a hit and miss sort of thing. Um, so yeah, not many symptoms. I mean, and then the headaches like I have headaches on a regular basis, not regular basis, but like when it's gonna like when there's like a change in the weather i get headaches so i really didn't think anything of it so when i did take the test uh that sunday on father's day i was like not even thinking it was going to be positive i mean i think it i mean i think i thought it was going to be positive but then again, i'm not really sure because like I don't know a couple of nights before i took the test like i had like a vivid dream and i never remember my dreams and it was like me and ryan were having a baby like we had a baby in our dream and we were like going to the some like amusement park i don't know but um i just like brushed it off and i was like no but yes that is it for my two-week wait symptoms that I had before I got my BFP. Um, what else is there? I think that's it. But thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you are in your two week wait, let me know some of the symptoms that you are having. Like I said, everybody is different. You probably won't have symptoms until, you know, you're like four, five, six weeks into your pregnancy. I don't know. Um, but I know I had symptoms before leading up to my uh, BFP, so I wanted to come on here and share that guys, share that with you guys. Um, but other than that, um, thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned for my next video, <laughs> which is going to be my line progression of my uh, pregnancy test. <laughs>